According to that, with the cumulative translation adjustment, is something we should be able to calculate. Uh, of course, we need to differentiate between the figures in the current rate, uh, compare it with the average rate. So one minus the other should give us a variance on the CTA. Right, so do that on let's fit uh, in two steps. You don't have to customize your balance sheet. Within your balance sheet, you can have your standard amount field there. And then you scroll down until you find the current rate. You're going to click on this. Now, the second thing you are going to want to do is to add a formula field where you will make a difference between the amount and the current rate. You don't need to apply a grant to it on this. Now let's call this formula CTA variance or delta. Let's call it delta. Okay, now I'm going to preview this. And what you see here is the amount which is in the average rate and the delta between the average and the current rate but it's not showing the current rate anymore for some unexplained reason so if you guys have any kind of insight on this don't uh, hesitate to leave a comment on the youtube video and see you on the next video goodbye